we are seeing an increasing number of students from lower socioeconomic status in our public schools. The issue of at-risk students poses a huge challenge to our schools and our teachers because lower socioeconomic status is connected to many other issues such as family breakdown, single parenthood, abusive parents and malnutrition. This has a lot of impact on their learning and social emotional development in the school. Many teachers found it very frustrating and demanding to teach these at-risk students, not only because they are not motivated in learning, but their behavioral issues and low literacy made it very daunting for teachers to guide them. So we see a need for teachers' professional development to help teachers to understand the impact of poverty and family background to these students to help them develop empathy, not sympathy, and at the same time help teachers to develop the right approach to empower these students. If you look at the many studies available, these at-risk students are different from other students. So you cannot expect them to learn and behave like others. And what is different here is that they need more social-emotional support, more cognitive stimulation for their brain to develop more. These kids that we are seeing, they don't have DNA problem. They are you know, not destined uh, because their parents are drug addicts or alcoholic or you know, single parents. They are not inheriting those genes and their life is normal. It's not true. Latar belakang pelajar. Why you so lazy? Why you like this? But then, as we discuss with other teachers, we got to know that they are from Roman family. Okay, no, he is left somewhere. So we don't suddenly just jump and come and marah dia. Here, itu kita gunakan perkataan yang endearing. Yeah, sayang. Yes. Okay. Saya rasa kan, memang benar yang kita nak kembali luahkan masalah mereka. Dan realitinya ialah ini ambil masa. Kalau kita buat silat tanpa, saya salah kan? Mungkin saya salah marah murid tu lah. Kelas, I'm so sorry tadi saya sudah cakap salah pada murid ini. Saya tak sepatutnya. Boy, I'm so sorry. Tak bercakap, senyap. At least kita tanya lah dia, awak kenapa hari ini? Kalau murid dia baik, dia jawab lah. Kalau murid tak baik, dia terus diam. Tapi itulah salah satu cara untuk dia tahu yang kita sebenarnya ambil berat juga pada dia. For the teachers, it's a challenge of um, how to make them achievers despite their background. They are not motivated right, because of family circumstances. And I encourage my teachers to be role models um, for these students because they can't find that role model in their homes. And I hope that uh, whatever they lack um, from their homes, the school is able to make up for it. Studies have also shown that if you address this area of needs, if you could provide a supportive environment, this at-risk students would be able to learn and perform as well as any other students. We believe teachers can make a huge difference in their learning, the brain development, and social-emotional wellness, and ultimately their future. This is something that's proven so it's now up to us to understand this, to believe in them, and you will see great change happen.